so welcome back to the channel we have jake in the chair today uh, a few months ago i put out the word that i was looking for free models so if you're still interested in uh joining uh, the list of uh, free haircuts shaves massages and things like that make sure you check out the link in my insta bio but um for now uh, let's talk about your hair so yeah. what are you thinking about doing today mostly just weights off the top um i wear headbands and hats mostly and when it goes shorter it curls quite a bit but um, just mostly wait, and then I'll give you free reign to pretty much take it as you want. Yeah. That's fine by me. So it's just creating like a bit of a shape. Yeah. You don't want to lose the curls though, that's one of the things. That's the main thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously as hair gets longer and um, with wavy curly hair it changes anyway, depending on if you've got a hat on, if you're washing it, um, if you're in headbands. So as I can see, obviously you like push all this back behind your ears anyway, so you don't want to take that too short, otherwise this will just be falling down on your face constantly. Um, it's already a little bit straighter here, probably just from you you know, rubbing your hands through your hair, and then it's a lot curlier throughout the back. So weight, yes, and a bit of length also. Just putting a bit of shape back in there. It's getting quite big around these kind of areas. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we won't really be thinning, thinning out at all, but We'll just be taking um, weight off by a length, if that makes sense. So yeah. let's start with the wash. That's fine. So first things first, I'm going to put a little bit of grooming spray in, just to help as a cutting agent. I'm going to use my finger as a guide to start sectioning the hair into a horseshoe section. Then I'm gonna follow through and do the same on the other side. section that out the way the one thing this does is just helps me work out how i want to navigate the back and the sides first and removing all that and out of the way helps me work that out another thing i like to do recently is working just behind the ear using my finger as a guide again pushing the comb that bit away section in that part. This allows me to get 
This allows me to focus on the shape around the front of the head first. And then that will dictate where I go with the back length. Client's head straight. Grab a comb wide section. Some pull out. I don't want to be graduating, I want to be layering, so retaining that weight so then towards the end I can start to personalize the haircut around the edges. We'll start with just about an inch. Next section. up you can already see the guide you see there the shorter hairs popping through that's just where you will want to cut the next section Up to the next section, making sure your fingers are tight on, on the hair. Fingers follow the comb. As you get to the end, I can see the section there. And then this will be the last section before I get to the back of the head. Straight off from the head, nice and tight. And you can see the section, the guide, sorry, just here. I'm just going to go through and lift up in the opposite way that I could, pull the hair out and check for any longer hairs. This is called cross-checking, which is explained in the wording. We're going the opposite way to we went in the first place. So I'm happy with that side, so we'll move on to the opposite side. Section again, behind the ear. Section again, behind the ear. There's a clip of the way. Come white section. We're gonna swap our finger positioning, so we come from the top this time, straight out from the head. Things are tight. Again, you can start to see the guide around here. Okay. 
don't have to worry if the hair looks longer or shorter in different places. This could be due to the last cut. You just have to put confidence within the guide. Again, go through, cross check it. And what we usually do as barbers or hairdressers is go through with our fingers and slowly check either side and make sure that we've got an even cut. Drop that out a little bit sooner. Go again. But be aware, a lot of people can't fake this. I can pull it up and slow down one hand, really. But because I'm filming this, I actually want it to be uh, right. <laughs> Perfect. So now I've got that behind the ear done. I'm going to re wet the hair. Time to tilt the head down slightly. Some more grooming spray. I'm gonna create comb wide section. section out the way here I'm just going to use this as my profile section the same way that you would through the top which I'll probably do also here I'm going to determine how much length I want to take off which is probably a bit over an inch Straight off from the head, follow that section down. Just check I don't missed any places. And then what I'm going to do is go through one side. Let's get some of this hair out the way. I use horizontal sections here you can see my guide from the middle so the next section another horizontal section moving around with the shape of the head see the guide
going to quickly go through this and cross check it which is the opposite way that I've picked it up corner there and then I'll carry on to this side where now I'm going to start to slowly meet the side section still following the guard for now As I meet this section I cooked before, I'm going to start to see a little corner here to here. I'm just going to softly point cut. And see if I can still tuck that behind the ears slightly. We lost a little bit of weight around here. And we'll move on to the next side. And to keep moving, even if we're doing a tutorial, just to. Yeah. Calm this out the way. Again. Horizontal sections. Follow the guide. See, that's where I cut before. This is where I wanted to cut. Again, moving around with the head shape. So don't stay in one position. Bring it out. Here is where I'm going to start to meet this side section. You can see it's going to go from shorter to shorter and then longer in the middle. That's where that corner is. A little quick cross check. Check through. So now I'm just going to wet the top down. I'm going to use a profile section for the top of my pretty standard way of cutting these days. about an inch slightly slightly graduating back
go through, you can see the guide there. Pull it back. I'm just going to connect this top to the side now, slightly. Do the center part. It's going to go through. Pull it out. Because these are the corners that you'll miss by pulling the hair on the top 90 degrees up. See that to that. It would be exactly the same. Gonna check for the back and make sure that's all bended. Check the length at the front now.
So we're going to go around the back and just double check the length. Quite happy with that length. What I'm going to do now is just go through and texturize a little bit. Not really taking loads of weight out. I'm going to use my feather razor as I pull through. I'm just going to lightly take some of the weight out. See? I'm going to use a secret product. Not a lot to talk about yet. I'm going to put in root two ends. I'm going to put on my diffuser, medium heat, low strength. And so this will help dry it in its most natural uh, state without it actually drying naturally outside. Hair. I like to leave it not too dry. Finish off, I'll use a bit more of the secret product. Through the back, it just helps with the shape a little bit. Just square that for a little bit, taking a bit of weight off the back, kept it curly, it's not long enough to tuck behind the ears, but retaining those curls by not absolutely bashing it with the thin scissors, which a lot of you do, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. We're done. So if you like this video and you want to see more tutorials, ASMR content, uh, I'm Jake. <laughs> subscribe and like leave a comment and sign up and come here and get your own haircut or a shave or a head massage